In this video, I'm going to show you how to view, edit, and create a stock transfer in iConnect through the back office. So once you're logged into the back office, um, to get started, you'll want to click Catalog, and from that menu, you'll want to click Inventory Management, and then you'll want to click Purchase Order. Now on this screen, there's a lot of information um, that I went over in the video on Purchase Order, so if you need to know about how to filter down um, purchase orders and stock transfers in the table below, or you want to know more about um, the different columns in this table, please watch the purchase order video before continuing with this video. Um, because from here on, I'm just going to do a new stock transfer and show you how it works. It's essentially the same as a purchase order. It's just transferring stock internally between um, store locations, a multi-location multi business, um, rather than ordering product from a vendor to your business. So if we click the plus button in the top right and we click stock transfer, we can start the process for creating a new stock transfer. Just like with purchase order, we have a due date. So let's say we want to get the stock transferred quickly and we want to get it over by next Tuesday. So we'll click um, the 31st and we want uh, the stock to go from our retail store, where which we're logged into right now, to our salon and spa. Okay, So just like with purchase order again, we can load items by low stock items, we can search by category, or we can load by a CSV. Add low stock items looks at the location to, and if there's any products that are below their minimum reorder quantity, it will load those into the stock transfer as long as they're in that location from as well because you can't transfer the, the stock if it doesn't exist in the location from. We're going to just do the same thing we did we did with purchase order and enter an SKU manually. You can also use a barcode scanner if you have one. Hit enter and boom it pops up in the table below. We've got the SKU Again, it's this custom t-shirt, we see the cost, and we see that we only have 180 because we actually just transferred a bunch of them, um, or no, we have more. We received a bunch from the pro uh, purchase order. We used to only have 130, I believe, um, but we in the previous video I did, we received uh, several of these. So now we're gonna go and transfer them to the salon and spa. We're gonna give them 40 of those that we just received. So we know that $400 worth of merchandise is getting transferred now from the retail store to the salon and spa. So you have a subtotal and a grand total. Um, and just like with the purchase order, we're going to go ahead and open that. And the status um, indicators for purchase order and stock transfer are the same. So we have open, which means we've got a record created now. It hasn't been put into progress yet. So let's say um, we decide uh, that maybe a lot of there's a lot of customers at Salon and Spa that want this t-shirt so we're gonna add 10 more actually so we add we do 50 now instead before putting this in progress we want to make sure we click update so before we put it in progress we can up, update those quantities but once we put it in progress so let's say now we're, we're, we're satisfied with this so we're gonna put this stock transfer in progress um, now we can't edit any of that stuff um, because it's in progress, it's on its way, um, the salon and spa knows it's coming. And what you'd want to ha probably have done before you hit in progress is export um, the list. Or you can export it beforehand, uh, after, um, as long as it's up to date with all of the, the changes you wanted to make in, in terms of quantity. So, you know, you'd probably export it to a PDF or an Excel, print it out, put it in the box with the stock transfer and send it off. Um, then on the salon and spa side, so just to give you an idea, let's say, let's go over to the salon and spa. Let's pretend we're actually doing this. We're going to leave this page and we're going to, as a master user, I can switch between locations. I'm going to switch over to the salon and spa. And sure enough, I have a stock transfer coming in. Um, let's say I, it just landed, so it just got here. So I'm going to hit receive product. So I've got four, $500 worth of t-shirts coming in. I hit receive. Again, you can average the cost if this is a, pro a product you've had for a long time that has changed in cost over time. It will average um, that based on all of the stock transfers and, and purchase orders you've done with different prices over the years or months or however long. 
Um, and let's say uh, we got everything, so we're going to leave it at 50, um, check it, everything's good, we hit receive, and it will be closed out. Or it'll say completed, rather. So status has been updated to completed. The complete date uh, was May 27th at 2.37 p.m. And just to double check, we're going to go into our products and services, find this product, and we should have a good amount of stock now. So we called it custom. Sure enough, custom t-shirt. We have 50 in stock.